welcome to the VMware Skyline Getting Started with Cloud Services video demonstration. In this video, we'll share how to get started with VMware Skyline utilizing VMware Cloud Services. Additionally, for current customers using Skyline, we'll show you how to migrate your Skyline collectors to Cloud Services. Why VMware Cloud Services? With Cloud Services, you now have the option to create multiple organizations, if needed, to organize data by team, business unit, or company. This is especially useful for VMware customers who share an enterprise agreement, which is utilized by multiple individual companies. Additionally, Cloud Services gives the customer complete control over who can view their proactive findings and recommendations within Skyline Advisor. This capability is provided within the identity and access management feature of Cloud Services. Last, but certainly not least, is in product support. View popular topics based upon where you are in the product or service, chat with support, and if all else fails, open a support request. All of this at your fingertips within the product or service you're working within. Now, let's get started. First, go to the VMware Skyline Get Started page at skyline.vmware.com slash get started. Click the Get Started button to begin the process of creating your Skyline organization. At the login page, you can use your My VMware email address and password to log into VMware Cloud Services. You do not need to create another VMware ID for Cloud Services. After logging in with your My VMware email address and password, you are now ready to create your first Skyline organization. Click Create Your First Organization. Give your organization a meaningful name. In this example, I am using Skyline Business Unit as my organization name. Examples of organization names could include the name of your organization, such as Acme Company, or the name of a team or line of business within your organization, such as Acme Company vSphere Team. You will need to associate an address with your organization. Click Add Address to enter a new address. If you are already utilizing cloud services, you can select a pre-existing address if one appears. When adding a new address, after selecting your country, you may be asked to provide a tax ID. This is not required for the purposes of adopting VMware Skyline, as Skyline is available to customers with an active production support or premier services contract at no additional cost. Note that you will not be required to enter any payment details, such as a credit card, in order to adopt Skyline. You can choose I'm not sure if you do not wish to enter your tax ID in this field. Note that your country's currency will be displayed after completing your address. For the purposes of Skyline, this is informational only, and again, you will not be charged in any way for adopting Skyline. After agreeing to the VMware Cloud Services Terms of Service, click Continue. You will now enter into the Create Skyline Organization Wizard. This six-step process will walk you through completing all necessary steps to get started with Skyline. First, click Associate Support Entitlement. Utilizing the My VMware email address you are currently logged in with, we will associate your current support entitlement, either production or premier support, with your cloud services organization. Click Next to download the Skyline Collector. At this point, if you are new to Skyline, this video will continue showing you how to download, install, and register your Skyline Collector. If you are currently using Skyline today and need only to migrate your existing Skyline Collectors to your newly created Skyline organization, you can move forward within this video to Step 5, Manage Collectors. For customers already using Skyline today, we recommend that the individual who initially registered your Skyline Collectors be the same person who completes the migration process in Step 5. While not required, this will help avoid issues with existing Skyline collectors not appearing within this step. Now, let's continue to download Skyline Collector. Click the Download Skyline Collector link to download the Skyline Collector virtual appliance from My VMware. You may need to log in with your My VMware email address and password. After you have completed downloading the Skyline Collector virtual appliance, click Proceed to Next Step. Install the Skyline Collector virtual appliance within your vSphere environment. Instructions to assist you with installing the Skyline Collector are available on VMware Docs. After you have completed installing the Skyline Collector, you must register your Skyline Collector with your organization. You will register your Skyline Collector with your organization using a token. Create a registration token by clicking Create New Token. You will use this token within the initial configuration wizard of your Skyline Collector. Let's quickly switch over to the Skyline Collector Initial Configuration Wizard to view where to enter your registration token. Note, collector registration tokens expire 12 hours after being created within Cloud Services. The Initial Configuration Wizard will appear the first time you log into your Skyline Collector. Step three of Initial Configuration allows you to paste your registration token in your Skyline Collector. 
click Register to Collector to complete the registration process. If you're deploying your first Skyline Collector, you can proceed to step four and complete the Skyline Collector initial configuration. If you choose, you can return to Cloud Services and view the final two steps of the Skyline Organization Wizard. If you have not previously deployed a Skyline Collector, you can skip step five and proceed to step six, which provides you with a link to Skyline Advisor. After you have completed the Skyline Collector initial configuration and added at least one endpoint to the collector, such as a vCenter server, proactive findings and recommendations will be available to you within Skyline Advisor in about 48 hours. We recommend bookmarking the Skyline Advisor link for future reference. For current Skyline customers, Step 5 allows you to migrate your current Skyline collectors to your organization. All of your currently deployed Skyline collectors should appear within Step 5. If you do not see any Skyline collectors or one is missing, please ask the Skyline community for help. If you are a Premier Services customer, please contact your Support Account Manager or BCS Technical Support Engineer. Next to each Skyline collector, click the ellipses in the Action column, then click Migrate. This will migrate the Skyline Collector to your Cloud Services organization. You do not need to complete any additional tasks at this point, and you have now completed the migration to Cloud Services. Note that it may take up to 48 hours for these changes to be reflected within Skyline Advisor. If you need help getting started with Skyline, again, please contact the Skyline community. Premier Services customers can contact their Support Account Manager or BCS Technical Support Engineer, or contact your VMware account team such as your Solutions Engineer or Technical Account Manager. This concludes how to get started with VMware Skyline. Stay tuned for more videos on how VMware is transforming the customer support experience. Mm -hmm.